Hi, this is Dr. Shannon Tran, licensed clinical psychologist and coach. And we're pretty much halfway through the year. And I know this is often time where people uh, reassess and look at their progress and may even be feeling a little stuck. And if that's you, I wanna give you a tool that you can practice to get you unstuck and really give you the clarity that you need to have the momentum to keep moving towards your goals. One of the things that I learned from my mentors when it comes to goals is that usually the goal isn't the goal, it's the feeling we believe the goal will give us. That's what we really want. And that's the essence of the goal, the feeling. So for example, maybe you want a promotion. Maybe you want to make more money. Maybe you want a relationship. Well, the reason why we want all of those things is because the feeling it's going to give us, the feeling of freedom or ease. You know, if it's a job promotion, it might be the feeling of recognition, appreciation, acknowledgement, value. And sometimes when we get focused on just the, the goal and the form we think it's supposed to come in, we get really stuck or worse, um, we don't enjoy the journey or when we get it, it wasn't what we really wanted because we were more focused on the form rather than the feeling. And this is why I practice heart-centered goals where we create goals based on the feeling that we're really wanting to experience in our life. That feeling of connection, that feeling of appreciation or love or value. And it's interesting because recently I heard that the heart is 5,000 times more powerful than the brain. And that makes sense, right? Because our heart has its own intelligence and attracts so much to it. So when we put our focus on our feelings and make sure that um, what we think and what we want is connected to the right feelings, it's easier for us to reach our goals and really have the clarity that we need. So here's what I'd like you to do. If you're in a place where you're feeling a little stuck or you're not quite making the progress, go ahead and take out a sheet of paper and really connect to the feeling that you want from your goals. What feeling would you love to experience for yourself this year? Is it the feeling of freedom or accomplishment or the feeling of recognition? And just really sit with the feeling and imagine what it would like what it would be like in your life to have that feeling. And just imagine all the ways that it could show up. And then ask yourself, why is this important to you? When we connect with our why, we're really connecting with what motivates us and drives us. And we, we need to know that in order to move forward because the drive is what gives us the, the juice and the energy to keep going. And then finally, really asking yourself, well, what do I need in order to get there? Do I need to have new beliefs about myself? Do I need to learn new skills? Uh, do I need to be able to take new actions and have the courage to do things differently? And um, that's one of the things that I'm doing this year is being willing to do things differently. Um, and maybe you're there too. So. If you're at a place and you're ready to have clarity and really move forward and connect more deeply with your goal, then really connect with the feeling that you would love to have in your life and the feeling that you believe this goal is going to give you. And write it down and see what new insights or awareness or even new opportunities come up when you're connected with that feeling and really allow yourself to imagine what your life would be like when that feeling comes true. What are you doing? Who are you with? Who are you being in this feeling? And when you connect with that, you can share with me at support at shannontranphd.com and wishing you the very best in your pursuit of your goals and your dreams. And I hope this tool was helpful to you in creating your heart-centered goals. Take care now.